They'll see they all cap. I really show love. I'm kinda past the hating. I'm never stopping, dog. Naughty, I'm too calculated. Uh, now I lost it. Let me get it. That cost it. I spit it. I got it. <laughs> I sell a niggas, other fakers, undertakers. I'm still mad at LeBron. What the fuck, Lakers? I'm sorry, B. And <laughs> I got men witness. Hey, look, sorry, baby. Let me go ahead and hit my dance. Here go show the work, show the work, toe tap, toe tap, show the work, show the work, toe tap, toe tap. After I show the work, I'm a toe tap. After I show the work, I'm a toe tap. 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 Go. I'm a blue face this shit. Yeah, go ahead do your blue face. Yeah, go ahead do your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm from the CPT, Compton to be exact. Come on. Usually I'm wearing a mohawk. Today I'm wearing a hat. Ooh. I am Jamal Malachi Neighbors. That's him. You may have seen me in your neighbor's neighbors. Ooh. Hey, I'm like that. You like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, 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 because I'm yeah. positive. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, keep yeah. going. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm not. Come I'm on. Out. No. That's... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, okay, I gotta cover that up because you just, you just. Okay, look. Oh, look. Go ahead. I'm back. Go ahead. I brought my guns today. You did. We didn't search you. <laughs> I mean, hold on, bro. Are you you got the strap? You got the strap? Look, a little bit. Look. Okay, you you let's spit up. Yo, sing for him. Sing for him. Sing for him. Look. Leave me on, girl, if you must. Take my hand and take my trust. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Girl, I met you on the bus. You met her on the bus. Skirt, skirt. What was high? Do it on the bus. Shit, I don't know. Recreational purpose. <laughs> My car got weak tires. Keep going. I ain't no liar. You not a okay? Well, cut that shit off, Evan. <laughs> God damn, cut How that you feel shit about off. That? Yeah, that's that Compton shit, bro. I didn't know you were, you went Nate Dog on us. Oh, R.P. <laughs> oh yeah, Nate Dog. You went Nate Dog. Oh, God yeah, that, damn, that's who I was doing it for. I, well, I didn't know if you. I, I didn't see you doing it. I was gonna spit. Listen, I had to go up hard up top because you said you you couldn't rap. Yeah. Okay. 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 So that's what we did. Okay. Before we do that, welcome back. This is another spanking brand new episode of Cutting Away with Malik B. Behind our cameras, I got my main man Evan. What's up, boys? Bro, hold on. We got a guest though. Hold on. It's not about me. It's about my guest. I'm going to introduce this guy because he really doesn't need an introduction, but we'll give him one anyway. Bruh, straight from Compton. You know what I mean? All the way from the Compton streets. Bruh, was he a foster baby? Maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe. <laughs> Have you seen him in the street? Maybe. Have you? Ha- hey, hey, did a white girl tattoo a black fist on him and he did it? I know definitely he did that shit. Ain't no maybe. I know for sure, for sure. Yo, he killing it for 17 years in the game. The very funny Jamar Malachi neighbors. Hey. Also, wait, it's not about you as well. Okay. We got, uh, we got, I got a guess for you. Cause you, you've been boxing for like, I would say about four or five years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, hold on. I got another. <laughs> yeah, I got experience. I got experience. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to that goddamn singing <laughs> intro in a minute. I know a lot of people want to know. Listen, this guy. Listen, this is a three-time world champion, or twice. I'm sorry, two-time world champion, four world champion. Guys, 31 wins, three losses. I mean, he knocked out everyone. I mean, to you name it. Big fight after big fight. Man, the, the world famous Showtime Sean Porter. Yo. Man, what's up, Jamar? 
Shit, man, breathing, you bre- <laughs> living my life. So hey, you didn't like you didn't like my saying no. I, 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 I did not. I was I was about to come in with like you know I'm a bad doctor. You know I got no patience. I was about to go in and just go in, and then you kind of threw me off. You was like, hey, hey, bro, I'm gonna let you know now. I I I, I can't rap. I I was like, what? Look, Dude. I'm a singer. Yeah, I'm a singer. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I'm an alto. <laughs> <laughs> That's two of them. I had you and Jeremiah. He sung. Yeah, he sung. Oh, he was like, hey, that's not a wave, dude. Nah, he was. Oh yeah, shout out. Yeah, that for I love the good wave. Nah, he actually was rapping. He was kicking some bars though, bro. I, I yeah, so you know that. So you know that CPT line that I spit like, yeah, yeah the cop to the big exact moment. That's the only thing I spit before Maxwell came on, and I was like, oh. <laughs> I tell this. I told this dude, I'm like, hey, bro, we rap up top. Like, I'm trying to have like the hardest intro in the game. He was like, yeah, for sure, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the song I lost my virginity to came on. I was like, "Oh, <laughs> and do it to you." And I miss you, Tisha. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Tisha! But Tisha, you know that shit was fire. <laughs> <laughs> you lost it to a song. I didn't lose it to a song. No, what you do? Hell no, I lost yeah. it to, to a, a nigga like, beatboxing. <laughs> Both mouth. Oh, yeah, go. <laughs> I was in there trying to keep up with the strokes. Hold on, slow down. You. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, <laughs> I'm gonna go too fast. I might finish early. Yo, nah, I lost it to like, uh, it was Baby Boy playing. Baby Boy, oh, that's raw. That's raw. No, I'm sorry, I'm I sorry, I'm that. sorry. So, uh, so playing, so playing, because it was way back then. Yeah, so playing. Nah, it was it was on in the background. So, All right. Yeah, yeah. But no, right. <laughs> I had to bring you in because we got we got to talk about this Logan Paul Mayweather. <laughs> <laughs> now you were not a fan it, of it. It all it it all went bad. Yeah, I knew it was all a bad idea when uh when Mayweather just refused to cut his hair. <laughs> I was wondering about that. Like, you why know, are you doing that? He looked like he's a, looked clean his whole career, and yep. then all of a sudden he's a grandpa. Shut now up. he looked like an old young uh, barber or some shit. Like, how like is the stupid... richest man in the world look so homeless? His patchy. It was a total weird look. Is it? You know what it was? It Pubic was like transplant. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about that. No, it's not, bro. You don't tell me. You don't bro, take the pubic that's hair. Real, that's real. That's picture. I, look, you you had hair back in the day. Where? Oh, I thought you did it. Oh, my bad. <laughs> look, look at I this picture. to him. <laughs> I know. In it's, hell. It's, it's, it's couple of mine on his head. Like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was mad he wouldn't cut that shit. Now, so you wanted it? Well, listen, it would look way better than got your hat. You saw that look? Yeah. No, 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 no. That's what I'm talking about. Like, I knew, like, from the beginning, like, at the press conference. Oh. Like, Floyd, why are you showing up like this, dude? I got you. I got you. With the beard and all that, like, looking rough. Why are you doing that? Yeah, he had the LeBron up top. Yo. And the, the KD BDBs. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd have been mad, too, dog. But again, I, listen, if you worth... Because Floyd is worth what three hundred million right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, he. Lo- I mean, I don't want to put my man business out. Let's just say three hundred plus. And the fact that you show up, like you said, looking homeless. I mean, it's it's one like one precaution. Like I don't give a fuck. Like I may you know me when you see me, you see money. Two, it's like bro, show some effort. Show yeah. some effort. It look like he don't even get dressed. He he wear his brand, go outside and say I'm money may. You know, it's now you said it all started from. The post com- press conference, it all started with NBA young boy impregnated his daughter. He couldn't take it. Oh yeah, he could, a Louisiana dude just you know piped down his daughter, and <laughs> she got his daughter out there stabbing other girls. He was like, "Damn, this is oh he- she in prison, huh?" Yeah, Floyd Mayweather ain't her daddy. She had that baby in prison. No, 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 no. He's in prison. Who? Uh, NBA young boy. But so was the girl. Now, nah, now nah, she got off because again, money, money talks. She literally stabbed old girl baby mom. Like he stabbed like so. Oh, why the chick was pregnant. Right. No, no. So his baby mom, his first baby mom, NBA young boy, uh-huh. uh, why she, uh, Ayana, yeah, Ayana, Floyd Mayweather's daughter, she wasn't pregnant. She already had the baby. Oh. Stabbed the girl. And then like, yo, literally stabbed her, like messed her up. And she, a girl pressed charges. Uh, Ayana d- just did like a couple of days in jail, got out. And when money talks, yeah, bro. For and stabbing she, the bitch? Man, the girl... <laughs> You said she shouldn't have had no jail time. Hell no. I mean, <laughs> no. What the? She should have like got It's an everyday thing. Oh, like, stabbing. I'm like, I think that's too much time. <laughs> <laughs> Two days. You said just a couple of yeah, hours of that. Like, it's just a stabbing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just saying that. Hey, her daddy is not Floyd Mayweather anymore. It's NBA Bro. young boy. But okay. Uh, do how much money the NBA young boy got if money talk? It doesn't matter. He in jail. Obviously not enough. <laughs> he locked up. He tried to get a bell. He was like, "Nah, bro, we good." Just He's not, a, not enough. He's not a top tier money. It goes. It goes 
Rothschild, Rothschild money, the queen money, then Floyd somewhere around there. Mm, oh, man. That's crazy. <laughs> I feel bad. No, don't feel bad. I mean, she rich. Nah, I feel bad for NBA young boy, man. Oh, yeah. Free, free. yeah. My, yeah. I, I was kind of about to go, like, NBA young boy about to go visit him in Louisiana. You know? Now, I don't know him, but I know it's like one of his homeboys. <laughs> nah, hey, not really. I don't know, I don't know him, nah. I always know Just a show up to the jail. Yeah, show like, up. Is he here at this one? <laughs> hey, man. This one. <laughs> hey, 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 but it can be a young boy. You remember me? Like, nah, nigga. <laughs> Big fan. But Yo. uh, yeah, so that we I brought you here because of that fight. We need to talk about like how. By the way, you have the worst boxing takes I ever, I ever <laughs> hey, seen. Hey, man, that's what I'm here for. Oh, on, on Instagram. I, I, thank God I got a professional coming in because <laughs> yo, your boxing takes. And then it's like, yo, if you like, follow Jamar on Instagram, it's a weird segment. Like, he'll ask you like a weird question and then he'll just throw out a boxing take. He'll be like, <laughs> he was like, man, y'all need to eat ass. And then that'll be like one snap and the next one, man, I think damn the Henley gonna use that, lose that. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Weird transitions. I'm like, okay, bro, you have the worst at all. <laughs> Yo, boxing you. fans. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah y'all eat ass. Like, sometimes I mix it. <laughs> you get confused. You confuse yourself a little bit. Like, oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Logan Paul didn't do that bad. What you mean? Did so, he, so, did so, he you said, so you said going eight rounds with a 42-year-old. Who hasn't been in the gym in the ring nah, since two thousand? I've been saying that, and plus he has thirty four pounds over Floyd Mayweather. And Floyd got brittle hands, brittle hands, bro. And his whole career, and even after the fight, he said he hurt his hand. So you mean tell me Logan Paul won that fight? Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Kinda, yeah, kind of, yeah, kind of. He kind of <laughs> won it. He kind of won it. If you if you really and, look at it, was kind of weird. And it did was. you see? Did, did you see Logan Paul do the hurricane at the uh, 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 at the end of round one with the last ten seconds when he just start taking <laughs> off <laughs> <on> the floor? <laughs> 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 hey, that's how that's I how he you, was gonna drop that nigga. Hey, that's how you fight when a dude in like too close on you in a street fight. So you just <laughs> gotta <laughs> you gotta beat your chest, but he in the way a little bit. It's <laughs> just like a drunk guy at a bar. Like yes. I love these guys because like when they're at the jab and they're just striking single strikes, it could looks good. Yeah. And then they panic or something happens to get us excited. And yeah. then all that shit goes out the way and they just become the bar guy. The and bar they're just like guy. fucking swinging, you like know why? head down, like losing their mind. You forget about like technique when you see like, oh, someone's hurt. Yeah. Are you tired? Or you get opportunity. You don't, you just forget about technique. Nah, I can cut you can cut this bullshit out. Cut right. the bullshit out. <laughs> yeah. Because you're acting right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, right. This this the real me. Yeah, and then it goes yeah, back yeah. to. It's a lot of like hitting on top. Exactly. And like like Connor, Connor like hit Floyd. Floyd was trying to cover up. He was like, right, I'm not getting hit in the back of my head again. Yeah. So when he covered up, he could just see he went a little Steph mode by like putting his gloves a little bit behind his head. Floyd got mad and he was like, man, fuck just pop, pop to, to, uh, to, to McGregor. Oh yeah, but, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you were going to back. But uh, also he covered his hair, that little taper, that little pubic hair as well. He went, <laughs> like, don't hit that shit. I just got- Implants are fresh. He's like, <laughs> Yo, exactly. Floyd, Floyd should have went back to the corner and just, they should have shaved that nigga bald and then- <laughs> like, <laughs> and around, That'd be like, amazing. Like, team, what do you want me to do here? <laughs> Go back to the old Mayweather now. You who Bruh, this new dude? Like, yeah, dog. I don't like homeless Mayweather. Nah, nah. He awful. I, honestly, I think he should stay out the ring, man. If you, you go, think so? A hundred percent. No, 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 no. I think he should get that Jake Paul back real quick and then call it a day. The way he looked, Jake Paul might hit him and hurt him. Well, not hurt him, but again, he might get some shots off. I think that he'll do better than. Um, I think he'll do better Logan. against Jake Paul than he did against Logan Paul because Logan Paul was long. He was sweaty. He was holding strong as fuck. Yeah. Jake Paul is a little less. You know. But but Jake Paul has more boxing. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Logan was like unpredictable. You didn't know what you was gonna get yeah, from he could he could this nigga could knock him out because he's 200 pounds and he's really strong and in shape. Correct. Jake, I, I, I don't know. He's legit, he's just a little shorter and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So I think Floyd could have handled him a little better. It's always weird when they introduce the records and you just see Logan Paul <laughs> jumping up, like introducing in his corner. Zero and, and, and zero one. And one. No. <laughs> 50 and 0, 0 and 1. You're like, yeah, oh, wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait a minute. I mean, it kind of shocked him. Like, wait, I'm here. <laughs> After he heard it, I think it didn't recollect, like, with them, like, okay, I'm good. I finally got Floyd. And then you got Michael Buffer introducing the guy. And he only have, he don't have too much to say. Imagine Michael Buffer just reading the card in his one sentence. 0 and 1 YouTuber. He, he had to make some shit up. Introducing in this corner. He has on black and white trunks. 
He's a Pokemon fr- card. Pokemon card. Yeah. He ha- he has nice hair, blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he came in 34 pounds overweight. <laughs> when he started, man, his brother is Jake Paul. <laughs> he started, he, I think the he's dating. King of YouTube. <laughs> he, king of, he was like, well, shit. Uh, and his record, he has a professional one. <laughs> An outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he did. The outstanding, looking for his first win. <laughs> and he goes like, "Yo, I heard he's a Christian guy." I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> Michael Buffer, stop! You running out of shit? Like, hey, who is his dated? He's he like, yeah, his last girlfriend. <laughs> I think he got like, a couple of auditions. He auditions. Like, for- <laughs> <laughs> yo, I, 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 I kept. Yo, what was up with the Showtime app? Oh, oh it, what? That's why Stars. I mean, that's why Trilla is the best. Like. App for that entertainment. That, yeah. It kept shutting down. Yours kept shutting down. Yeah, well? yeah, yeah. I don't know what was up with it. You, they had Shoulder Boy hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. That fucking Fire Stick shit. Wait, you didn't even pay for it. Hell no. Oh, so what, what, what the fuck are you? I don't care. He's pissed that don't his fire my... stream didn't work, and so he's calling. Him <laughs> my fire stick don't work. <laughs> That's like amazing. I'm mad. Oh. <laughs> this was supposed to be free, 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 <laughs> bro. What's your problem, bro? <laughs> you mad? You think I'm paying fifty dollars for that shit? <laughs> you feel like they owe you money? Yeah. <laughs> it was some good spice on there. I mean, you said you had. Uh, it was a point where I. Had to talk Jamar out of like he really wanted to become a professional boxer. I thought I had the juice. Bro, let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he, I get a text out of nowhere from Jamar and neighbors because you know I like work out and still like train and stuff. I was gonna ask you, how come you don't look like that? <laughs> uh, you know, because uh, you work out every day. F, but F, I'm just wondering what's going on. Like, is F, what do happened, that. dude? Uh, F, don't do that. Right what's now. the what? F, what's the well, I was just wondering. He all like, up top. He all up you, top. There's a lot of every day. I'm <laughs> yeah. seeing the thing, and then yeah. but. Yeah, I'm just wondering. Yeah, okay, Malik, wait, tell him it don't matter. <laughs> hey, I've been to Ray and Malik. He like, man, that, that shit don't matter. No, he know that. Hey, I am kind of jealous. I, like literally, we was in quarantine and Jamar didn't. We, you didn't work out. He's like, man, I'm getting skinny, and he still swole up. I'm mm. like, you bitch, you motherfucker. <laughs> I was so mad, you motherfucker. Because again, like he's it's, it's just he's born Freak. with the genetics. He's got the genetics. Hell yeah, that's the, I call it that group home muscle. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yo, I had to fight for everything I got. I was like, oh shit, oh shit, I ain't had that. Like, God damn. Like, we had a we had a we had a bench in the backyard, and again, all the foster kids used to rotate and shit like it was jail. <laughs> it's like we used to do water balloons on the side. <laughs> water balloons, water balloons, balloons on the back. <laughs> <laughs> And a, on, <laughs> on the end of a broomstick. <laughs> <laughs> if you couldn't lift this shit, you didn't get your porridge. Wait, wait, like, wait. <laughs> it was rough in Compton, man. Porridge. <laughs> you didn't get your porridge. That's why they call it pores. P O O R. Yo, pores, though. Yo, you still. You ever had porridge? No, I ain't had porridge. No. Lit. It is, it's good. With a little sugar in that motherfucker. What is it like? Like some, like some watered down oatmeal? <laughs> you know, you know, oh, you had that? Like some watered down oatmeal and type of shit? Oh, cream yeah. and wheat. Oh, that nah. Nah, hell nah. That sound like you eating concrete. <laughs> nah, well, but... it was all we had, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm cool. <laughs> hey, but uh, so Jamar, like, he he hit me, like, late. I think it's, like, middle of the day. I get a cold call. Like, he was like, hey, bro, hey. Serious as shit. He just goes, hey, man. You think if I train for six months, I go down to Mexico <laughs> and, like, turn pro? I said, what? I was like, you know, I like, I really want to do it. If I just compete in Golden Clubs and go down to Tijuana and run my t- uh, record to like 10 and 0, you think I could do my shit? I was like, Jamar, you a comic. Do stand up again. He was like, oh yeah, shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> Bro. Because he was at a point, he was training like four or five hours a day. And all just like time. all the time, just boxing, getting better. And, and then I took him to Wild Card. I was like, hey, bro, okay, it's a level like when you like where you are and where like people have been doing it like 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 for five yeah. six man six, i would have hit none of that oh yeah right. <laughs> that's true that is, he was like bro i'm gonna go down there and he almost had a golden gloves fight and then the dude dropped out right oh he got canceled. no 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 he got uh, covid covid yeah. covid You're right happened. i remember you texted me he's like bro I, i'm about to do my first amateur golden glove fight i was like all right we'll do it then and he was like yo i'm gonna be serious i gotta drop weight i'm about i was like how much weight you gotta drop man you think about drop 20 pounds i still have my <laughs> my cardio i was like I don't think you should drop 20 pounds. He was like, man, I, I got it. I was like, I like, he did that shit, though. Yeah, I got he down. Lost a, he lost a lot of weight, Man, bro. I was hungry as fuck. You I was like, dizzy. You look like 50 Cent in All Falls, things fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Jamar? 
He's <laughs> like, yo. Big head ass. Nigga just head just like cocked to the side for no reason. I'm like, nigga, keep nah, your head straight. I'm hungry. <laughs> he was like, yo, you can train me? I'm like, nah, this nigga is an MIB character. That nigga hate, that nigga hate when I hit him. Because he's, he's so into comedy right now yeah. that he was like, man, that was the old me. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> and I'm like, man, fuck that comedy. Because we like the opposite where I'm like, man, fuck that comedy yep. shit. We need to be out here fighting. Like, <laughs> he'll set up matches. He'll like, yo, go on a fortunes. He was sparring. Are you trying to spar a Russian? Yeah, an yeah. amateur Russian. And I can't, I went to, I'm like, all right, Jamar. He kept bugging me, bugging me like 10 times. I'm like, all right, all right, I'll, go, I'll come watch you. Right? And I see the guy, and the guy's all right. He's like a young, like, fighter or whatnot. Jamar gets in there. He's like, yeah, so that's him right there. And that's his coach. I was like, all right, cool. I look at him and I shake his hand. I was like, Jamar, the guy, he's going to keep you on the outside. Right? Do what I'm trying to tell you. Go on the inside and use your speed and get underneath there. He was like, all right, cool. Jamar does what Jamar does. Because, again, out. he gets in and he has his own mindset, his own game plan, <laughs> and ignore whatever you tell him. And then he goes on the outside and does, because he's athletic. I'm like, bro, you he, he touched you up a little bit. He touched you up. Nick, hey, let me shout out. The, let me shout out, because I always work. With, shout out David Bly. He going to be a champion one day, the little Russian kid. Okay. Anyway, I still be sparring with that nigga. Still? I still be sparring with that little nigga, man. He's, and he, he getting better. And yeah. I'm I do comedy all, <laughs> all the time, so you can hit a little bit more, bro. Bro, I hate that nigga. I love him, but I hate him because I'm like, oh, he get oh, but nigga, this is what he do. Yeah, you know, I act like this is what I do, and exactly. I'm like, oh yeah, that's the difference. And, and you shit. get in the ring with people who's doing it for a living. I don't, and, I don't give a fuck. But know, I'm like, <laughs> I know, I know. And that's you the thing start about giving a fuck. I know. I was just about to say, at what point will you just have to sit yourself down and be like, yeah, it's about that time. It's about that time to retire. Nigga, <laughs> I, I got some trying. cool shit coming up. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I gotta give all my time to. <laughs> you can't be getting bu- CTE before a roll, man. <laughs> Bro, seriously. <laughs> seriously, he probably already got it, but he's just Nigga, dealing with it. Like, great. I feel like I was born with CTE. <laughs> like, <laughs> you hear him coming through the group home, bro. <laughs> All them group home fights. Hell yeah. You ever had fight over a fork? <laughs> over a fork? <laughs> Jamar just, every time I see Jamar, he just has his arms out. That just pisses me off, bro. Because right. it's like, I mean, you don't, like, ugh, you're not a weightlifter. You just have him for no reason. <laughs> like, yeah, he has biceps for no reason, bro. That shit just pisses me. You look like you get kicked out the Uno League because you tested for P- <laughs> PDs. Uh, the Uno League? <laughs> the Uno League. <laughs> you took steroids. That's why. You- <laughs> Hey, so don't ever play dominoes with that nigga. He gonna slam them. He slam them. Gonna break the fucking table. I said, draw a fool, motherfucker. I'm like, God, what Reverse. The- I'm like, oh, okay, come. <laughs> what in the donkey come? <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, but he was really trying to become a professional boxer, and I'm glad you didn't. Nah, because- nah, nah. I, I still be in there training, man, but I, I, I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna leave that shit alone. I'm like, <laughs> I, I like, I will still like spar and shit, but I'm like, I ain't doing none of that. So, okay. Uh, but it's yeah. like that, though, you know? You train, if anything, at anything, especially without it, with with someone who's not super good, mm-hmm. and you start to be like, wait a sec, I could do, you like shoot free throws, mm-hmm. play with your friends, and you're like, I'm pretty good, fucking good at basketball, yeah, yeah. and you play with someone who's actually good, and you're like, fuck, I definitely thought I was like, it, it can confuse you, it especially confuse boxing. You. Just a little bit we've done together, I throw a couple punches, and I'm like, I'm kind of fucking good. At this. <laughs> you'll you'll yeah. smack me once with a pad, and I'm like, never mind, I'm not going to get it. I hate them because I. I don't like this. This is what I don't like about, like, I don't like people who work with me. Like, oh, I want to work with you. I'm like, I'd rather you go full on with me so I'm like, I can Why? really know where I'm, so I can so really know where I'm at. So yeah. I can, because I'm like, I told you, I'll try to get really good at some shit. So I need the honesty and I don't need a motherfucker to be like, all right, man, put you. I'm like, I need to be like, bah, 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 bah. I can download all that and be at the, like, this is everything you did wrong and mm. I'll come back better. Mm. But I'm like, I don't like people be like, all right, man, so put your hands up. I'm like, don't work with me. Fuck me up so I can know yeah. where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> throw me yeah. in the deep end. Throw him in the deep end. He, and he, I mean it. Like he was a wild card, and I threw him in the deep end, and he took that shit. He was like, "All right." He said, "I." He said, "He took that yeah, shit." He took, yeah. he took that shit. Cold word. <laughs> Cold word. You know what happened? I was doing all right. Like, you was like, doing all right. You was doing no, no, no. You was doing all right. Yeah. And then old boy was like, "All right, you want to turn it up?" You was like, "All right, turn it up." 
And he turned and it up. Turn that shit up. I was like, nah, turn it down. Turn yeah. it down. <laughs> I was like, turn it down. So so I go to I go to uh I go to a park to do pull-ups. <laughs> right? You just love showing off. <laughs> like, nah, but I do though. And I saw that nigga there. Oh, well, oh you did? Yeah, oh I my god, uh, David. Uh, David, yep. Yeah. yeah, I saw him there. He was like, oh, what up, young blood? Yeah. And I was I'm still mad at that nigga. If I take an L, I'm still low-key mad. He's I'm a like, cool dude yeah, though. He's great. And yeah. he, he's so fucking cool to talk to yeah. and shit. But it's but, just like that one guy. Yeah, where I'm just like, mm. <laughs> that's a, hey, that's how it be, bro. I'm still looking for uh, my guy named Keith Smith. Keith Smith, eight years old, whoop my ass. I'm still if I ever see him, looking I'm gonna for the fuck rematch. Him. I'm Which, looking for the. I'm like fuck him up. Man. How bad was it? it? How bad? How bad was it? Like yeah, he got the one up on me. Yeah. Like this is before boxing, of course. And uh, he just like, bro, it was it was over some sucker shit. Like I was going like we in elementary school, and you know I'm chilling and all that. Like I was like a a people's person. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I was big in the sports. And I just I used to take my belt off and just like do do stupid stuff. So the dude, oh the pooty tank shit. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm talking. I, I didn't know you was gonna get the reference, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I was young when that came out. And I'm taking it, and the dude just like took my belt and snatched it out of my hand. I said, man, I'm like, give it back, give it back, dude. Boop 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 boop. I'm thinking. So all I know is Power Rangers. So I tried to kick him. Man, he was like, nope. Boop, boop, boop. Right, he I'm came talking back after the kick. Bro, after the kick. I'm talking about he beat me down. You showed to him the... your legs. <laughs> <laughs> Show him what legs you kicked him with, though, man. <laughs> he felt the kick and he's like, that's it, that's mother. Kick? Fuck me. He <laughs> came harder. He was like, you mother. He would start throwing even more. Nah, nah, I didn't know. I didn't know. But that's you know, how. What's so funny is what? that, um, it, but I do watch like a lot of fucking boxing. Like, it's like my, that's like my soap opera. Okay. Like anything. So, uh, I think, I think I heard Tank say some shit like, um, he fight. He fought some kid in high school mm-hmm. or something like that. He said. Uh, he said that he actually lost that fight. He said. He said. But what I got from it was that like, yo, but I but I socked that nigga though. You know what I'm saying? But I got off on him. But the dude beat me up, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, that's oh, that's interesting. I I don't, I don't fucking know. But I just remember shit like that. I don't know. What what did that have? To, that shit came out of nowhere. Nah, nah, nah. Because we was talking about <laughs> nah, nah. Because you was talking I, about. I didn't, I didn't get a lick in. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh you talking about fights up. you had before boxing. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, before boxing. Yeah, 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 before boxing, uh, it was just, yeah, I think it was Did that Did you one. have any fights on the street after boxing? Nah. No? Nah. Man. Nah, man. Damn, I wanted a cool story. I always yeah. think about that, too. I always think about that, too. And I'm thinking it must be one of those things that's like, once you realize you can do it, you're going to yeah. do everything you can not to do I, it. Because you, you it's got, so not fun anymore to fuck up somebody who can't. Play, you know, he's not yeah. even in the world that you're in. So in high, middle school, you would think I have so many fights because I was in prime condition and shape. Mm-hmm. And I use, I was a great student. You was student. boxing then? Yeah, I, yeah. So I started when I was nine years old. Yeah. So that kind of, I think that fight kind of like put my, my dad was like, yeah, you're going to learn uh-huh. how to fight. So nine years old and through, I started like, stopped at like 23. But in middle school, I was in, I knew I was so fast. I knew I was in shape. And I walked away from so many fights. A lot of people used to te- pick on me like, oh, Malik, you scared and all that. But they never like ran up on me because, again, you, you provoke me. I have every right to. I yeah, just yeah. wanted to, but it never it never happened. I, was, I always be the bigger guy like, come on, man. Because they're like, man, what's up? Because they always had his wise set. I was and like, like, oh, oh, God. oh, oh, my God. <laughs> like, oh, you know what I mean? my God. It's yeah. almost embarrassing yeah. where you're like, I don't even want to do this. I'll, take, I'll to... take you making fun of me. Exactly. Because hey, whatever. Wanna... Like... Because, again, I'm like, man, I got to fight. I got to fight the Alabama this weekend, the Southern regions. <laughs> I got, I got like, a guy You don't who's... want that work real quick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if I mess up my hands? So I was like, nah, I'm good. Yo, nigga, you did wanna... you you had fights though? Come on, go ahead, go talk. This. <laughs> you already laughing. Group home fights, talk about nah, it. Man. Nigga, it wasn't even a group home fight. Nigga. <laughs> this is just a. I guess I've just been a goofy nigga the whole, my whole life, nigga. Right. So, nigga, my auntie, my auntie. I used to live in Baldwin Hills. Okay. And uh, we used to live uh, on this street called Marlton, and Marlton uh, had a hill. It was right. It, um, I lived on a hill basically, and um, I used to live at the top of the hill, and so I used to. Wear skates. I used to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were skates. That'll, they do roll, that'll, that'll, that'll start a fight. Wait, my, nigga, my nigga, they weren't even rollerblades. They were skates. Wait, no, hold on. The skates were. I, I used. To, I still rollerblade. The skates were. Nah, nah. I want a rollerblade. In the shoe. In the shoe. No. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Like, like, a he- like a Healy? Not the play schools. <laughs> not the play schools where you have to adjust them to size exactly, six. Exactly, that's what well, <laughs> <laughs> You know it's uh, the, I thought he, I thought he peeled off. Like, damn, I, nigga, I'm getting too big for these. <laughs> <laughs> the Pilly. The, what is it called? The Healy's? Healy again? with the heel on the heel? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, they get extra notches. Like, I ain't never letting these go. Like, 
like rocking these aside. <laughs> yeah, nah, right, nigga. I had I had on the skates uh with the front with the front tip yeah. and shit. And uh, the motherfucker, you know, skates heavy than the motherfucker. And I was I was skating down the hill like, and uh, there was this dude sitting on the side of the sidewalk. He looked like a, a ghetto ass nigga. Like he looked, he was up to no good. Uh-huh. And he came out just to fuck me up. It looked like so I'm skating down the fucking hill and shit, just like yeah. whatever. <laughs> and I had to. I had to come back up the hill. I had to walk back up the hill in these heavy ass skates. Uh-huh. The nigga stopped me right when I was about to walk past him. And I was like, ah, man, that was fun. He was like, yeah. He was up to like, uh, where you from? Uh, <laughs> and I was up to like. In nah, Baldwin Hills? Yeah, nigga. Like, they, they, said, yeah. they got bloods over there and shit. But that's like, to, to the weight cutters and babies that's, that's listening, that's like the Hollywood, the black Hollywood. It like is. It's, yeah. That's like okay, the rich okay, area. Okay, okay. But here's what it is. Okay, so I lived in, uh, so I lived on Marlton. That's the good street. And okay. then the next street over is like Somerset and like all this stuff. And those, are, and that's the hood. Right around the corner is the hood. Got you. Because so down there is the jungles. You go down that hill, mm-hmm. that's the jungles. Okay. So sometimes hood niggas would seep over in the Marlton. Got you. Really okay. good. Okay. So this one nigga was standing outside. He was like, where you from? And I was like, no, Aaron, I'm just skating, you know? Yeah, yeah. Your, I love how that was your voice at the time. And it's so funny, so I'm glad you brought that back. Go ahead. Because it's my voice today. <laughs> I was like, no, Aaron, man, I'm just skating. And he was at the, oh, for real? And the nigga, the nigga fucking started beating me up. Out of nowhere. Yeah, nigga started beating me up. I don't I, know. I'd, I'd, if I heard that voice, I'd have took off so on my, you. <laughs> like, no, Aaron, I'm just so, skating. I'm what? just skating. Yeah. So, 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 Mal, and I'm like, Back then, like I could fight, yeah, yeah, like, but like I had on these heavy ass skates, nigga. So I'm like, I, I, I was trying to like take them off and shit. Like, why are you getting ass. hit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is how the fight looked. Like, <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! I was getting took off, oh, bro. To the to, to the audio listeners, <laughs> you say you was I getting was on hit. My, I was on my back with my feet in the air, trying to take off the skates. I was trying to kick them, but the kicks bro. was too slow because that because the skates was real it heavy. Was heavy, yeah. Bruh. Bruh, he he put he beat you with your feet to the ceiling. So I finally, so okay. I finally, uh, so I was, he finally, he like ran off and shit like that, right? So I fucking, I remember I had to walk up the hill. So I was like, <laughs> I had to like walk back up the hill, nigga. I fucking took the motherfuckers off. I went back outside. I was like, where is this motherfucker at? Where I never saw that nigga ever in my life again. Oh. I was like, God, what the fuck was that all about? Oh. Like, what <laughs> he, the said, fuck? he said, you want these angels to wake you up. Like, you should know, you shouldn't be goddamn skating at your age. Lesson yeah. learned. <laughs> you shouldn't be skating don't at go, your Don't skate through the hood in yeah. rollerblades. In rollerblades. <laughs> up the Hill, up the like, hill, like, up the hill, like, hey, yeah, these are my skates. Man. He saw boop, vulnerability. Boop. He's like, yeah. can't get away from me. Nope, he can't do anything. That dude's like, very intelligent. You know, <laughs> had I had money, nigga, he'd have been on. Yeah, yeah. he had you to the back to the ground, and he tried to like do. Yeah, basically, you was just doing like like ad episode, like ab exercises. Yeah, with the little, little, yeah. Little, that's how I got my abs, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that one fight, that one fight birthed you. Yeah, listen, it's a gift and a curse. Damn, dog, worst ass whoopers. Nah, I I yeah. wish I had like a ass whooping story. I just had that one. But yeah. I, and I don't even want to. I mean, I mean, see, and I don't even want to ask you about like your like your sparring or gym story. So I'm like, that's a given. Like, yeah, well, I, yeah, yeah. We, it's like every boxer has like a great sparring story, and uh, I think mine was when I spar Anthony Durrell, yeah. the dog. Like he's like one sixty. David Benavidez uh, work. Uh, yeah, David. Yeah, yeah. But this is when Anthony Durrell was like good. Yeah. And yeah. I was fighting 147. Mm-hmm. So I used to spar like Badu Jack, who was 170. I used to fight like, spar like bigger guys because I was so tall. Sean Porter. Sean Porter did the same thing. That's how we met in the gym. And we were just moving around and stuff like that. But I used to spar like bigger guys because I was a tall 147. So I got in the ring with Anthony Dur- Durrell. And I'll never forget this day in, in like Floyd Mayweather's. And I used to like, man, I used to come in like, man, these big dudes ain't got shit on me. Right? Mm-hmm. So we get in the ring. I hit him with a flush one, too. Like, doom, doom. And I'm talking about hard. That would have like set anyone on their ass. I and mean, you can just feel it. When you hit someone right, you feel it all the way up here. And it's like, oh, that's a knockout shot. He ate that. He his he ate that straight up. His head went back. And he was like, he licked his up like this. Yeah, come on, youngin. And I was, oh, I got so nervous because he threw his punches. And even though I was blocking it, he was moving me. Around, I'm 147. I was like, he a strong ass nigga. I was like, I kept looking at coach, like coach, <laughs> and I hear shield up here, move me to the other side, coach. Yeah, here move me to the other coach, and then like, yeah, bro. I was like, yo, listen, the dude. I, ain't, I mean, I handle my own, but I just try to, you know, how you try to grab someone, yeah. and they too strong. They're like, nope, ain't no grabbing. He really tried to stop what? me. That, yeah, I went three rounds with that big boy, 
And that was, that was in there. I was like, yeah, I never. I, let's let's make smart. Because, again, at this point, it's like risk uh, versus reward. Yeah. What was the reward? Oh, I, I, I went three rounds with Anthony Durrell. So, the risk was I have got... What? So after that, so after that, did you have a uh, did you have a an actual fight after that? Like an actual like a boxing match out of that? After after that fight? Yeah. Uh nah nah nah. This is when this was at the tail end. Uh, oh, actually I did. I fought um this guy, your your crank, your your mat, your mat, some kind of Muslim guy. Okay. And, and then, you beat up a Muslim? <laughs> You know that you didn't get canceled for that shit. Nah, bro. Like, he's a pro. For, he a pro. Nah, he a pro. <laughs> you see what the niggas like, do over there in the motherfuckers in Palestine? It's a lot going on, bro. <laughs> it's Israel. Israel. <laughs> you got to pick a side. That's basically what you're trying to tell me. <laughs> Yo, again, bro, we with everyone at this podcast. Um, <laughs> but nah, yeah, I fought him and yeah. uh, he gave me my first cut. Yeah. Uh, first cut over his eye. Head butt. Yeah. Head butt. Yeah. Because I used to keep, I was long, I used to keep the long <laughs> arms. And I, I threw an overhand left, mm -hmm. overhand left. And, I you know, when you throw it, you got to dip over. Yeah. But he ducked, and he ducked away where my head was going, and boom. Yeah. And that gave me my first blood was dripping down my face. And I, had to and I was like, just like, I'm just going to act. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, this shit real. <laughs> shit Bro, that was it. That, I was like, that shit, this shit is real. Damn. And that's, yeah. It's got to be, what's that feeling, though, with your sparring partner? When you throw it, connect. Yeah. And then he just eats it and looks back at you and goes, let's go. That's got to be the most scary Because it's almost like you're in war. You launched yeah. your biggest missile. Yeah. It hits the wall, bounces off. And then they're like, bro. here we go. Let's it go. must be the worst feeling ever bro. to know that your best is not even close to good it, enough. Bro. My best activated It must feel him. like you're drowning and then someone throws a fucking so weight good. on you. You got to understand, we were chilling before that. We were just like going to normal. And I just, here doom, we go. Doom. Test. Yeah. And he woke up. He was like, oh, this motherfucker. Thing. And then next thing you know, the next two rounds. I was a coach. I felt like Martin when he was fighting uh, Tommy Hearns, but I didn't get hit that much. I just kept moving, moving on. <laughs> Yo, why? Yo, why? It's so funny. You talk about that. I went to, um, you know, Panda and them. Yeah, I know Panda. Yeah, of course. In Wild Card, late night Mexican. They were, yeah, but they, he got his own gym like down there. At, oh yeah, uh, yeah that new East gym. Los. Yeah. Uh, and I went down there uh, to train with like Vanez. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I spar Vinus. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He let me work with him too and shit. Cool. Like, like he's cool people. Mm -hmm. Uh, so he was like, "Yo, man, you coming in for sparring or whatever?" I was like, "All right, fine, fine. fuck it, I'll go." Yeah, I went down there and shit, and I'm over here watching these niggas like work out and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I saw one dude. Uh, I saw one dude like sparring this other dude, and I was looking at him. And I was just like, "Oh yeah, I fuck him up. Oh yeah, I think I can get him. Oh yeah, I fuck him up or whatever." Because he was going like light, whatever. You got a yeah. warm up spar, and I get in there. And uh, I didn't know this nigga was like, what is this nigga, like 3-0 or some shit, whatever, yeah, like professional. Yeah. Young guy. I get in there, and uh, this nigga start going hard on me, right? He yeah. didn't, go, like, what he did to the other dude, he wasn't, he was trying to do something different to me. Selling wolf yeah. tickets to the rest of the yeah. gym. Bro, bro, this nigga was like, like, tried to fuck me up, right? And I was like, oh, fuck, it's right? The, it's the arms. But, but he, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. I think because he was intimidated or some. That, I mean, that's what you do. Like yeah. you intimidate nigga, you gonna you, have to fire off. You on get somebody, the best right? work. Yeah. <laughs> so this, so this nigga was throwing all his shit, nigga. When I tell you, I was at the light, and I was at the light. No, no, no. He would hit me here. Like this was body shot. I was at the light. No. Ba, 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 ba. I was like, I was like, looking this nigga up. It was like back and forth and shit. And then he was like, and then every time he hit me, I was like, no. Nothing, right? I was like talking to him, oh, and then he was shit. like, he was like, and I was like, yeah, yeah, you, you take, yeah. It's my black ass, my black ass, nigga. I'm like, ever since that little one, that one amateur fight and shit. Yeah. Now, now I'm a, uh, 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 now I'm a swarmer, <laughs> right? You just like do that. So like, I had like beat. two, I had like two bursts. I had like two good bursts in me and shit like that, and I and I was giving him that, and then uh, and then he gave like the, uh, I mean, like he gave his back and forth, but his back and forth didn't hurt, mm -hmm. but mine, I was, I, I was, you like, was messing his, up. yeah, you yeah, messing yeah, but up he, but but they didn't expect it, yeah. because I'm like I'm a comedian, exactly. You know? <laughs> but, you, but who's been doing it for four or five years now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so, I mean, I mean. Okay, okay. So even going back to how decent Logan Paul did against what's the name Floyd? Yeah, or, yeah. Or because KSI. he they, no against uh, Floyd because he, he was hasn't, still boxing for but, a while. But again, he hasn't. That's a professional fight. He was zero and one. Sparring and fighting are two different things. Like okay, like we'll have Sean Parker. Like look, 
Sporing is everyone can look good in the gym. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like it's kind of like you know if you've seen a guy like hit the pads and then we get in the ring, he look completely different because yeah, he yeah, knows yeah, punches yeah. are coming yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. That's how fighting is. Okay, so let's say you've been sparring for like five, six years. Yeah, right. Now you got to go in a real fight with the best ever. You really think he look? No, it's 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 he didn't look good. He didn't. And and honestly, Floyd, the same thing happens to Floyd. Floyd, you've been out since 2017. Maybe I'm to 2016. Mm-hmm. That's years. And you're 44 years old. Yeah. So again, and you have brittle hands. If that was if that was Manny Pacquiao, he'd have stopped him. Yeah. After, I guarantee you. He'd have stopped Logan Paul? He would have stopped Logan Paul with 34. Because like, again, he throws. Like he throws punches. And he doesn't care if you he gets hit back. Floyd doesn't care. Like he cares if he gets He's all about reputation. He yeah. doesn't want to get hit. Manny, that's why he's fighting a young gun like Earl Spence because he's like, yo, I want to fight. I want the best. Give it to me. And that's why I think if, if Logan Paul had like a real fighter, Floyd is a boxer, a real fighter in front of him. Let me like ask Pacquiao you Pacquiao or Earl Spence? All right. So Floyd, we say, is arguably the greatest of all time. I think arguably. He might, yeah, he might be. So he is let, up me, to me. let me ask you this. If uh if Manny Pacquiao beats Earl Spence, would you say that he's better than Floyd? Who? If Manny Pacquiao beats Earl Spence? No. Earl Spence, Earl Spence is and honestly, I was in camp with Earl Spence when Earl Spence and I were in camp when Floyd just got out of prison and fought uh uh that uh tall Mexican uh the, Robert Guerrero. Robert Guerrero. And he uh so it was Floyd and and, and uh, it was I Rob Earl Earl Spence will go first, and some days I would not get my turn because Earl would just take all that work. Really, and they'll have battles, and then my turn, I get in there, just move. I'm because again, Earl was more of like coming forward, and he he's so technical. He doesn't he his punches are calculated and accurate. Doesn't waste anything, and it's coming with velocity. He just like uh uh uh, and it's like he put that uh into it, wearing Floyd out. And remember, he got a black guy that camp. It yeah, might have yeah. came from me. It might have came from Earl. I'm gonna just say it's me because it's my podcast. And um, <laughs> <laughs> and again, you can't. So if if Manny Pacquiao beats Earl, I mean, I seen a couple of days that Floyd just like you know out of, fresh out of prison and yeah. just being a young lion like that. So again, it doesn't. I mean, have you sparred Earl? I ain't get a chance to never spar. He oh, sparred okay. my homeboy. And he stopped my homeboy. I was yeah. Like, I was like, damn, you ain't got to do that, Earl. But yeah, Earl is a dog. Earl is going to, I honestly think, hey, I appreciate Manny Pacquiao. I will be in that camp. I'll probably give y'all some intel. Uh, but nah, I don't think I don't think he's going to, well, hold on. I'm, I'm going to just, you know, I'm being be in that camp. Yeah. I, re- <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I yeah, don't want to mess, I don't mess anything. Yeah, you goddamn right he's going to be Earl. Spence. I respect. I like, I like, I, yeah. it's so no, no, you like, got to respect Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, for, I'm like, this shit is wrong. What he's about to do. Bro, like, he's shaking the game up. Yeah, but I mean. But, sh- but I in it, also, he risking his life. Yeah, and that's and, what and I don't think Errol spent like this is the this the fight he wanted. Yeah, but okay. Errol won it. I'm like, what the fuck you think he, he gonna try to come and do? The world is gonna be watching. Earl is like lived up. He's been pro for six six or seven years now, and you gotta understand this is like he's finally at the championship. He's finally at the finals. He's finally at the Super Bowl. You think he's not gonna come in? Well, but they're they just thinking like, oh, he just came off a of, uh, uh, almost a fatal accident. Looked uh decent against Danny Garcia, but he took Danny Garcia as a tune up fight. Nigga first and bro, bro. And that's how look how much heart you have to be in believing your skills. Like, man, Danny Garcia, he could be my tune up fight. I'm like, and he's a pound for pound yeah. <laughs> on the Come top on. ten list. So that's how like dangerous Earl's they call him the truth for the reason. Now, for Manny Pacquiao to not have fought since 2019, say, I'll take that young guy. It's crazy to me. It's crazy to me. So yeah, Do, he's a legend. You think he would have been better off taking Errol Spence? I mean, not Errol Spence, uh, Terrence. Uh, or honestly, he could have had he was com- Sean Let me Porter. You. Sean Porter. Why didn't take Sean Porter? If you was coming off of a off of a two year layoff, who yeah. would you fight, Terrence Crawford or Errol Spence? Terrence Crawford. Yeah, yeah, that's what I asked. What I was thinking because it's a you got a self part. Well, again, Terrence Crawford. A reason why a lot of people say Terrence Crawford is because Terrence Crawford takes like three, you know, two, three rounds to warm up. Mm-hmm. Earl out the gate. Nope. Nope. Coming straight at you. Mm-hmm. It'd be, oh, you want all 12? I'm going to give you all 12. Mm-hmm. I'm going to wear you down with the body shots. It's just like, and he hits hard. Yeah. So Terrence Crawford, he boxes. So, yeah. I mean, but again. I heard that motherfucker stronger than what people say. I mean, oh, yeah. what people think he Who, is. Uh, Terrence Crawford? Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. For sure. Uh, listen, and the guy. You spar him? 
Oh, nah, I ain't get a chance. To... Uh-huh. Man, listen, brother. When I, I started, I just assume you when started, I started, <laughs> look, man, when I, I, think, I would always nah, ask you I, that. I know all these guys, and 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 I would have, well, you know, eventually I'll talk to them. Have you more, just start lying to me? Yep. Yeah, I said no, but then off camera here, off camera here, like, yeah, I can't remember. Then they they watch this show, like, man, Malik, prove it. You can't prove it. Doesn't matter. Just lie. They watch this show, like, man, Malik over here, goddamn captain. He fought everybody. He fought everybody, motherfucker. You know damn well. Nigga, I whooped. I whooped Dave Bean to beat his ass. Nah, but yeah, Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Ryan. I like Ryan. Ryan is my guy, so I don't care what y'all say about that. But I think I think he's underrated. Nah, he's definitely not underrated. I don't know. See, this is uh, this yeah. is why I get into arguments with Jamar, and he That's what my me. stories be saying. Yeah, like Ryan Garcia is heavily underrated, and he just wait <laughs> early in the morning. I'm like, damn, I ain't had breakfast yet, and you got to argue with him. I don't. Like, nah, dog. What do you mean? Like nobody did that to Luke Campbell. Who, who's a, who's the top five, five? Who's what's what's your top five right now? And we can end the podcast. Go ahead. I don't want to end the podcast. <laughs> 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 Give me your top five so we get out of here, man. Man, like just fighters, just or fighters. At- your favorite fighters right now, pound for pound. Because you did, I give you credit. You did call that Luke Campbell fight, and I called it as well, though. Yeah, I said the seventh round. You didn't say the seventh round. I did say the seventh. You round. did. I did say the seventh. Okay, round. I give you that. I give. You, I didn't see. And, and I called that Oscar Valdez fight. Oh, with the uppercut? Yeah, with the yeah, knockout? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and I get it. That nigga is slow as fuck. He was. Uh, I don't know. I don't understand why they thought that was gonna be a good fight because the guy pressure. He just again. I love when when like. Boxers and brawlers fight each other, but nine times out of ten, if a boxer is in shape, he and he has power, he's gonna whoop that brawler nine times out of ten because he's coming straight forward. And all you're doing, my my trainer, my coach used to say, meet him at the store. That means his head is coming, my punches is coming, yeah. and when they had that collision, a knockout's happened. So again, nine times out of ten, a boxer with power is fighting a brawler. Of course, he was gonna get knocked out. I understand what was a, I should have bet money if I was a gambling man. Damn. I was like, bro, you could have won because the odds were so crazy. I was like, Oscar uh, Valdez is an underdog. Come on, man. I like. Um, oh yeah, who, who's your top five? All right, no particular order. I nah, mean, nah, nah, it's all Tank, good. of course, Tank. Um, That's solid. But me myself personally, I think Tia Fima is fought stiff for competition, but uh, at the one thirty five division. But whatever. And um, how, how, how? Okay, oh, that's another argument. Go ahead, go <laughs> but ahead. but but Tank. Okay. Um, Jermel Charlo, the little twin. The, yeah, the little one. Yeah, he's he's on the. Hopefully, right he now. get undisputed. I really want that to happen. Wait, he's undisputed. He just no, knocked him. No, he's no, he not. He got to fight Brian, Costa- Brian oh, Costano. Oh, yeah, he's he fighting him coming up on June That's 10. the last dude that Errol Spence lost to in the amateurs. In the, in the amateurs, yep. yeah. But, um, again, he... That nigga's nonstop. He's like, pop, 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 pop. But, again, I, Brian... Oh, that's a great fight on June 10. Now, the older brother, Jamel, needs to fight Triple G. Jamal. I mean, Jamal, Jamal. I'm a big fan of Jamal now. He's knocking out all these guys. Bro, he's, he came out of nowhere. That mean, bro. Bro, he came out of nowhere. I sparred. Now, you talking about someone I sparred. Yeah. And when I was down there in Houston, I sparred him. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And the older guy, the older brother sparred uh, uh, Edison Lore. Okay. Okay. We had a day that it was hot on a Houston summer day. And we was going to war in that bit. And he, yeah, you're right. He, he a mean dude. That nigga. Uh, I, okay, this is, what, this is the nigga everybody's sleeping on. You already know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> go ahead, bro. Go ahead with his colorful hair, bro. <laughs> Chris Prime Taco Bear is yeah. That's nice, your guy. bro. That's your guy. Cause you know why? He's is he a- not? Is he not? Or, or am I not? Say, or am I seeing something yeah, that, that people yeah. not seeing? Or and he just got the same color of hair as your mohawk? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you can identify. Is bro. he not good? Or am I like like he's dope, right? He cool. He cool. Go ahead. You think he be Shakur? Nah, you don't be Shakur. Shakur is gonna be like the next fluid in my eyes. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, all right. Uh, just moving right along. Uh, <laughs> um, I think Canelo is definitely pound for pound. Yeah, for you sure. You asked me my favorite or pound for pound? Nah, just like who your favorite p- fighters right now? Yeah, I think Canelo and... Um, yeah. Who else did I say? I fucking forgot. Um, I don't know. I got four, though. Well, that's it. And that's another episode. <laughs> <laughs> you figure it out. That's been another episode. Oh, that, no, that Chinese nigga in no way. Oh, that's definitely another episode. Ain't no you way you gonna bring. With, you don't Hell fuck with, no, we don't, fuck, talking we don't about? fuck with him on this podcast. You talking about that little young dude who was on top rank, the Ch- the Chinese kid who just uh, who just beat uh, Nonito Donaire? Wait, no, ne- oh wait, oh, on, on he, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, right? No, he beat Nonito Donaire. Uh, I think I'm talking about uh, that Chinese dude named Brandon. 
Oh, you talking about Brandon Lee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah. Okay, okay, I, okay. Much respect to all fighters. Yeah, who oh, do yeah. It. No, Get no, in there. Yeah. Thank you shit. for your service. Just an actor. I was in the fight Albert. That was like that was like you disrespected the troops, and you were like, actually, just thank you for all. The the Asian one twenty two pounder. Yeah. Okay. I didn't. I don't know him. I don't know too much. But okay, I didn't know. Honestly, I don't know. I didn't know. All wait, right. wait, because Natito Denier just knocked out someone on uh he on did. two weeks he, ago. Yeah, now you got the Bantam now you got the Bantam the champion. uh championship. Yeah. And um yeah, I don't know. I, yeah. I think here I'm a, we're not gonna gonna take that shit again. Yeah, we're gonna the truth. Uh bro, I can talk <laughs> about this all day. We talk about boxing, this is my shit. But we gotta go, bro. I Damn. appreciate it. Hey, tell him when to find you, Jamar. <laughs> Oh, find me on Instagram uh, at Jamar <laughs> underscore neighbors. Uh, if you want to check out all my wild takes on boxing, who am I to talk about boxing? Just a nigga from Compton. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sing us out, Jamar. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. <laughs> Bye 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 <laughs> bye bye bye. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. <laughs> what up? What's up, man? Showtime, Sean Porter. Showtime. I feel like I know this guy too, bro. Like you know where I know you from? What's that? I took a picture with you out of a, outside of a CVS one time. <laughs> what you? I swear, bro. I swear, you was walking out. Just doing the CVS, it, man. You had a light blue shirt on. And I was like, it's Showtime Sean Porter. And he was like, oh, hey, you had something in the bag. I think it was deodorant or something. He didn't do that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> That's where I know you from. <laughs> Sean like, nah, that ain't me. What's up, man? Man, I'm smooth, man. How y'all? Man, we well, bro. Blessed, man. For yeah. one, we got to say congratulations on the newborn. You know, your father. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, what is he? Well, he ain't new now. He oh. uh 10 months and walking. So oh, congratulations. Damn, congratulations. Man. It's lovely, man. I, I I knew I was gonna do it, but my wife, of course, is we produce some athletes, you know. Exactly. Exactly. Got some athletes. athletes on the hey, you a young stock. A lot of people don't know uh to the weight cutters and babies. This is Showtime Sean Porter, you know, 31 and three, knocked out damn near everybody, all your favorite fighters. Yeah, you know what I mean? The guy is relentless. I, or, or I've been in the ring with him. We've yeah. been in the ring. They don't understand, Sean. You better let yeah. them know. I call him you the human tank now. <laughs> yeah. and I can't yeah. believe you did that with Errol Spence like that. Oh yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Yo, listen, man, it's it really is, man. It's just a pleasure to do what I do, man. A big part of of who I am, um, is really like I'm. I, yes, I'm an entertainer. I love I love to get the crowd up and all that kind of stuff. I love to win. I mean, who who don't love to win? Top, yeah, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, my thing is. My my job is to, is to give something, give everybody something to remember, mm -hmm. and you never really know when those nights are gonna come. Like like you just said, I'm I'm 30, 30, 31. 33, 30, yeah, thirty one and three, something like that. Yep, yep. I think I got thirty five fights, mm -hmm. and out of thirty five of those fights, I can name two of those fights that people are gonna remember and talk about for a long time. Shit, I can name three. Don't don't you ever downplay right, your then, I'm about to say. Okay. But I'm saying though, like yeah. three out of, th I mean, we shooting like what? Two, what's that, like 10%? Yeah, but yeah, it, I mean, it, but, so, it, yeah. Sean. but hold on, it's not you, Sean. It's like, hold on, let me ask you a question. You ever like That's knocked out someone and you get upset, like, man, I ain't even hit him that hard. <laughs> man, you over here acting now. Come on. I trained all this goddamn time. You man, get up. No, nah, what you doing? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I got scheduled to fight somebody. This was early in my career, right? Yeah. And it was like I was reading. I'm a smart, and I'm reading like all of this, right? Yeah. We were, we were finding out along, like as we were approaching the fight week, we were finding out that this guy was like giving the promoters a hard time about getting over here. He's from Columbia, I think it was, and mm -hmm. he wanted all of this extra stuff. And I think that he, they were thinking he wants this extra stuff because he's getting in the ring with me. Mm -hmm. I, I, I am an alternate, was an alternate 2008 Olympic team. So even when I first turned pro, you know, and I'm 3-0, 4-0, people are like, well, this dude been in the ring with everybody. He's been around the world boxing. You got to give me a little bit more, right? So once we get to the week of the fight and I get my eyes on dude, I'm like, no, nah, like you use this as your way to get into the United States. Mm -hmm. I was like, you and and then we get on the scale, like dude looked flabby. We get on the scale, dude was like four pounds overweight. I'm like, I felt disrespected. I'm like, this dude didn't take this serious. So 
I was gunning for this dude's head, like from the moment the bell rang. Yeah. And it was one of those moments, like I hit him with an overhand right. And I, and I, by the way, the punch landed, I knew it was done, right? And I just turned away and I walked away. Like, I, like the fight didn't even exist anymore. Cause that, that's how mad I was Ooh. that this dude didn't, didn't come Sean, in here to was, fight. Was that on ESPN? Nah, uh, no, no, okay, no. Okay, no. Okay, okay. Sean, that, was, he, that was a quiet one. That was a quiet one. Okay, yeah. okay. What'd he ask you for? A visa? <laughs> <laughs> <What? Yeah. laughs> so, so the thing yeah so like the thing is he wanted all right so he wanted to coming from Colombia, he didn't want to go back to Colombia. he wanted them to send him to like new jersey or new york or something like that yeah and you like then you start to realize like are right, you hearing from the grapevine like this dude got family over there you ain't come here to fight me you came here to get with your family I get it. I ain't gonna knock the hustle, but don't think I'm gonna get in here I'll and talk. not come at you yeah. like, you know, like, like I feel disrespected. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, and but you, for the most part, man, it's people be surprised at like how much we all like know each other, respect each other, yeah. you know, and all that kind of stuff. So, nah, nah. Man, it's, it, it's a it's a small fraternity, just like you know NBA, NFL. Mm-hmm. Sean, I, I I still go back, I still go back and, and watch the Spence fight. Just, just to look at who was really winning besides that knockdown. I because yeah. I'm still confused. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, how it, did you score? How did you score? I had a draw. Uh, uh I'll spend by a little bit, just a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. Whoa, yeah, whoa. <laughs> just by a little bit. But I'm like, but I didn't expect you. I knew you a dog. But I was like, oh, damn. I was like, he made Earl Spence like out Bruh. of his shell. He, yeah. t- he took his turtle shell off. No, listen, yeah. a lot of people didn't do what you did to Earl Spence. They was thinking, because you got to understand, before the fight, they were treating it like, yo, you was a stepping stone and to Earl and yeah. all that. You went out there, and I remember I was in Tampa. You was right, dogging them. I'm like, well, you yeah. were dog. I mean, you was giving them the business, you know, yeah. the port away. Yeah. And then yeah. Earl had to, like, sit down. and like, hold on, let me yeah. box this motherfucker, because he yeah. can't really bully you. You yeah. know what I mean? And I was like, oh, yeah. shit. Earl. Like, and, and I think at the end of it, I think people, y'all probably lucky I'm not somebody else because somebody else would have been really mad and upset and feeling, again, feeling disrespected at the way the social and, and everybody like that's boxing fans was was treating me yeah. getting in the ring with, with, with Arrow like, like I'm not who I am. Right. It was like all of a sudden because Arrow is who he is. It's like all of a sudden, Sean Porter ain't who Sean Porter is. And so I swear to God, y'all, I looked at my team the week before the fight. We had our last training session, all that kind of stuff. Couple pounds to lose, all that. I huddled up with everybody. It was, it was uh, my dad, my his two assistant coaches, and the cut man. That's the team. We huddled up. I said, listen, and then we don't never do this. I said, listen, I said, we going out to L.A. to do something amazing. Like looking at everybody in the eye, like it was a heated moment. I'm like... I'm like, we going out there to do something that don't nobody expect us to do. I said, but guess what? We all right here for a reason. We all know our job and we all know that we did everything we need to do to get to this point. Mm -hmm. I said, it don't matter if ain't nobody riding with us. I'm looking at everybody. I'm like, we all riding with each other. And that's all that matters. Like, like we, we really do. We move like an army. You know what I mean? Like we move like some soldiers. And I said, I said, just the last of the work we done. When we go out there, we're going to have some fun and we're going to get in his ass. And I don't really cuss, especially not in front of my dad. But yeah. I, I, everybody knew like that this was this was gonna be a different one. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And what I really felt was that I was gonna take Arrow through some things that nobody else had taken him through in the ring. And I thought that I was gonna I was gonna force him to question his heart and question his mind. And I, I do have to give I got I got to give um, respect to him because I felt like there were moments where. The, the question marks came and he shook that shit off and he kept and he kept coming mm-hmm. and he kept doing what he had to do. And at the end of it, like, remember when I got hit and I got knocked down, I got up and I looked at him. I said, let's go. Let's go. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people, my, my dad, like he jokes about it now. He said, you screamed at him. Let's go. And I was like, no, son, let's not go. Like, <laughs> yeah. make sure you're good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hold on now. Yeah. The, the moment for me was. It was like that was the the climax of the competition right there. He got he did what I wasn't able to do. He got off that one punch yeah. that got the knockdown mm-hmm. and it and it took me to a whole nother level. I was like, I got to get you back. You know what I mean? And so when I'm looking at him, I'm saying, let's go. I was saying, let's go out of out of out of theory, out of out of anger that I got knocked down, but also out of pure competitiveness. Like oh, it's my turn. You know what I mean? So. Let, no, you're not gonna see nobody do that to Arrow. I'm there's really 
I'm gonna keep it real. Like it, it's only one Showtime Sean Porter in the world, and it really ain't too many guys that's like me out there. You know what I mean? That's willing to really push them envelopes and do what other people ain't, ain't, ain't willing to do. Bro, you fought all of them, and I, I get I get so upset. I'm like, Sean, man, God damn. You know, we it's just a flash knockdown. You don't get knocked down. Yeah. You get flash knocked down with Broner, yeah. and then that 12th yeah. round, I'm like, this yeah. motherfucker here. This, yeah, but it, yeah, but yeah, you yeah, get yeah, back yeah. up. The yeah. thing about it, you get back up and fight yeah. even harder. So that's the yeah. case. I'm like, oh, shit. So Shut. do they awake a dragon when they knock you yeah. down? And, yeah. and, and with that, um, it goes to like with the Keith Thurman fight. Gave him like a battle. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so again, yeah. what what fight, what memory, or, or should I say, which one is your best fight that you like up to date? You think like, yo, this is my, I can like sit back and like, yo, I looked at my work. This is my best fight. Yeah. Even in both those fights, those are the two fights that I was talking about, you know, those, having fights that people will will remember and talk about for a long time. The ones that I refer to yeah. is Keith Thurman and my fight against Earl Spence Jr. I just think that right. it was like, you know, we kind of use the term, fireworks as like that's kind of like how we describe the night how the night's gonna be mm -hmm. and it's like when i say it's gonna be fireworks yeah those two fights right yeah. there yeah. you know how when the fireworks start it's like all right cool and then it kind of build up and it build mm -hmm. up and then boom and you had that 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 finale and all that kind of stuff like my fights start with fireworks and end with fireworks but yeah. those two fights right there when i see highlights my jaw drops like it's crazy <laughs> and i'm yeah. like i can't believe i was doing that like yeah. it's almost like like I tell people like I stopped saying that I, I'm in a zone and I started saying that I'm in the spirit because I felt like I, I got to a point in my life where I got really uh close to my Christianity started understanding my faith more things like that and and I started to say like all right like it's more than just me in there man it ain't it ain't just me and I ain't in the zone like I'm moving in the spirit and so like that's what I tell people now like I don't call it being in the zone. I call it being in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And so when I can look at something and I'm like, yo, I was there. I did that. How do I not remember it being <laughs> yeah. like that? Yeah. Like I was moving in the spirit. You know what I mean? So those are two fights right there where the, like I just was in the spirit from beginning to end, you know? And I think that they're, they, they were great fights where at the end of it, I'm, I'm, not getting my hand raised was just what just wasn't the worst thing in the world for me. You know what I mean? Okay. And I and like I tell people all the time, like I don't mean to sound like losing is okay because anybody that knows me that's close to me knows that like I, I play Monopoly, right? My dude beat me the first game. I said running back. Like we got who plays two Monopoly games in a row? Like <laughs> I was about to say with two people. I, I think, what the? So he got me the second game. Yeah. My, his wife downstairs, my wife, they doing dishes, lolly gagging around, like. They was cool in that first, but now they lolly gagging around. Get the hell out the house. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, so like, yeah. that's how I am. Like, Come I looked at it. I was like, yo, I don't really want you to be here no more. Like, I'm, I'm just mad that you beat me. So next time we play, we're going to have to play somewhere else. We can't play at my house. You know what I mean? So <laughs> yeah. that's how serious I take everything, Damn. you know? So when I, when I say that I lost and it, 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 the effect that I have of losing those two fights, the, the, the output and, and the, and everything that was done that, that left everybody satisfied or outweighs the loss for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got yeah. a question for my man? Man. Oh, yeah. So are you going to get into these exhibition matches? Mm. Mm. If, if, you, if you do, if you did, who would you want to fight? I don't know. It's got to like, like... Would you go with, like, with Sugar Ray Leonard? <laughs> Let's go back to let's go back to Chad Ocho Cinco for a second. Okay. And he announced that he's about to be on the fight. Everybody thinking, oh, he he want to do what everybody else doing. This dude has been training boxing for years. This ain't nothing new to him, training wise. He's never had an actual fight until the other night, and you know that with the way that it went. But he's been training for years. Furthermore, he loves the sport. I'm flying to Miami one day from Vegas. He's flying to Miami. I'm down in my seat, got my hat down, all that, but he can recognize because he follows the sport. He knew I was right there. I'm like, mm -hmm. how you recognize? You know what I mean? Yeah, and we yeah. got to chop for a minute. He loves the sport. He's been training and doing it for a minute. And he's like, yo, this is an opportunity. I'm going to go ahead and take it. You know, so I feel like if I was going to do it, I'd want to be in the ring with another athlete that's that's at least trained to do it. Um and 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 and, and I, if anything, I, I would probably have to be like one of my, some of my favorite athletes in the world. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm a, I'm a big football guy. So you know I'm I'm looking at guys like 
OBJ. Oh and man, John come Clinton. on, come on now. You can't beat up oh, OBJ. Browns, come on, come on, man. receivers, but they athletes. They, they're yeah. pure athletes. You, you know what I mean? The shit out of them. No, it ain't. Man. You well, think I would do that to him? No. Well, well again, again, all in there goes somebody. Did boy do that to Logan Paul? What do you think about <laughs> that? What's your <laughs> thoughts on that fight then? I, I thought that I, honestly, I think that it went the way that it went. You know, I think that Floyd. I don't really think Floyd carried him. I think Floyd Smart. Yeah, we've all been in the ring with guys who have zero experience. Of course, and if they have some experience, it still doesn't amount to the experience that Floyd has. The experience yeah. that I had, and we always know that them dudes is liable to do anything. Floyd wasn't trying to get hit in the back of the head. No. Floyd wasn't trying to get tackled on the ground. Mm-hmm. Floyd wasn't trying to get hit with no backhands. Mm-hmm. That kind of stuff happens when you're in the ring with guys that's just reacting, reacting. You're so reactive. I've been in the ring with guys that have experience, and they throw a hook, and they come back with it. Sean, it's it, it wasn't, it it wasn't like that goddamn, come on, it wasn't a Paul hook. Sean, that right. shit, that shit like he was but pressing no. B over and over again. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Sean. Come on, Sean. Pressing B. He was holding it down. I'm like, okay, okay. Yo, when he so, did that little I think, rally, I yeah. thought he was gonna I thought he was gonna get I thought he was gonna do something. No, no, he said, and then Sean over here trying to be listen, I say it for you. They need to stay out the ring. Look, look, okay, what do you think about no, me? no, no, no. Should have uh, never been in the ring with Floyd. Okay, you don't think Logan, hey, Logan Paul can kind of fight though, right? No, you're talking about Jake Paul. Still, but the other night should have never happened. Exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah. Man, okay, Logan wait, Paul. Oh, go ahead. What, what do you think about this then? Jake Paul beating up guys. Okay, and I always said this: an MMA fighter in a boxing ring will never beat a boxer. I don't care what class you in. I said that and I stand by that. Why is that? Well, because it's like different, and he can attest to it. It's like MMA is, is like different. Like for one, the gloves are different, the timing is different, the condi- you know, the cardio is different. And it's like, yo, it's faster in boxing. So faster is Jake Paul going to beat Tyron Woodley? I mean, Woodley? I, I think so. But you I think so? I think, I, yeah. Listen, no, no. Tyron Woodley, he came to wild card, and he yeah. was by, and he's working the stand up game, and uh-huh. he's all right. But uh-huh. if a, if a guy like Jake Paul who's been doing it for consistently for four years, and a guy mm-hmm. who's lost like a couple of his fights, and he has one big punch, you really think he's gonna beat Jake Paul? That's that's the one I think that that Jake is looking to give him like a big name in in combat sports. Yes, that's what I'm right saying. now he has a big name in in social media, a big name in you know in in, oh. in that world. But he's trying to get a big name in uh, in combat sports. Right now, to this point, nobody's really giving him the respect, and I think mm-hmm. I really do think that if he's able to beat Tyron Woodley. He, he'll get the respect that he that he's looking for. I think he's gonna beat. Him. I, I really don't. You do? I don't think he's gonna beat him. You think so? You think he gonna get knocked out? Oh, uh, nah, uh, Jake. You know the knockouts always. Is, I don't know. Tyron looks strong, man. Tyron. I don't think Tyron is gonna lose to 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 Jake Paul. Why you say? Did you see Jake Paul last fight? Right. Yeah. Did he look good? But but here's the difference. Um. Uh, Tyron Woodley has uh, a very good what we what they call in the MMA stand up game. Yeah. But he he's a he's a good athlete and he can and he can move and around adjust. the ring. Okay, that Ben Askin dude ain't no boxer. I know, and that's that's like the he was asking like why why is it that nobody can get with a boxer? Why why can't an MMA fighter get with a boxer in the ring? And it's because I I'm just guessing at the number, but maybe ninety percent of those guys have a wrestling background that dates back to when they're eight, nine years old. We have a boxing background that dates back to when we're eight, nine years old. I started mm-hmm. when I was five. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So all those years of you being square, all those years of you uh, pushing and exploding off of your back foot to do things, and then now everybody tells you, sit up straight, get on the angle, mm-hmm. use your jab. It's different. Walk uh-huh. around. Uh, and, and just that little bit that I just said right there, like it's really hard for those guys to connect those dots, which is why a lot of the times it ain't going to work out for them in the boxing ring. Well, I think it's also another thing that boxers get paid so much more than UFC fighters. That's why you see them trying to like jump into the spectacle yeah. like, oh shit, I want the payday. So it's yeah. kind of good. So it's kind of good what the Paul brothers are doing in, right? Because they're getting these UFC fighters paid. Yeah. Well, it's it's good for them because they're getting eyes on the sport of boxing. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I get it. The, 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 the rebuttal to that is, well, everybody's watching YouTube fighters. Nobody's watching real boxing. But if you got the right people saying, hey, that was cool, but come check out, you know, some something that might be a little bit better. Yeah. 
like like get like get with it and yeah. bring it to the sport of boxing. Don't don't hate on it. Like yeah. they sub, they not real fighters. Come check them out. You realize that you hate no you hate on the people that everybody loves. Mm-hmm. So if you hate on them, they're gonna hate on you and hate on everything that you love. Yeah. The same way you hate on them and hate on every everything that they love, they're gonna do the exact same thing. So it's an advantage for boxing because it's putting eyes on the sport itself. Mm-hmm. And now you just gotta figure out a way to pull those fans and those eyes to the to the to the the real, the real, so, the real, you know what I mean? So that was going to bring me to my next thing. Okay, so like these YouTubers and these TikTokers or whatever, they got, they already got a fan base. So how much, how much of uh, like these boxers who are like, man, what are these guys doing? How much of them not having a fan base? Like, like ain't that kind of they fault? Like the boxers who, who don't got eyes on them? Like, ain't that kind of they fault? Hey, listen, but here's the other side of it. The same way those guys put all that energy into posting and and making sure people will follow them and you know I don't I don't even know what like what all entails like what those guys do but I gotta imagine they treat it like a job or have treated it like a job and now they're reaping the benefits of it. Mm-hmm. If fighters put all that energy into that, where does that leave their training? Where does that leave their focus? Where does that leave their attention? Where does that leave their motivation to get in the ring? So it's like it's kind of like exactly it's like that give and take thing. So like what I did with my last fight, I had a uh, big E introduce me to the ring. Now you people in the boxing world may not know big E, but guess what? Everybody in the wrestling world knows big E. And when they find out where big E going to be on Saturday night, they're going to tune in because of big E mm-hmm. and guess what? Big E support me. So now they're going to tune in to me. Mm-hmm. So you got to see what I'm saying. Oh, like so, you got to, so. Yeah, you got to try to figure out how to make it work. So mm-hmm. the best thing a boxer could do at this point is eat off of that plate. Yeah. Uh, say 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 like get on social media. Say yeah, you ain't getting no real training. Like come try to do things to pour it away. Mm-hmm. Invite him in, mm-hmm. challenge him yeah. that he can't do things to pour it away. Now the audience is right there watching the pour it away. They watching us get down the way that we get down, mm-hmm. and I'm I'm offering advice, I'm offering tips, I'm training, dude, so on and so forth. So that's how I, that's how it could work. But you just gotta the fighters gotta figure out how to make it work for them. So, because that's one of the knock on that's one of the knocks on Ryan Garcia is that like oh he's a su- oh oh he's a social media star. But I'm gonna like Boom, actually- right there, the dude is one of the best in the division. <laughs> he's one of the best young guys out there. But everybody hates on him because they think that he's putting too much energy towards that. He stuff. just did both. Like, yeah, yeah. But there's no like you know it's like you either hate him or you love him. You know what I mean? Like where is that medium? And guys got to figure out where that medium is. You know. Mm-hmm. I want to get your thoughts on these two big fights coming up. Uh, Manny Pacquiao versus the guy that you... Now, a lot of people, you spar with Manny Pacquiao and you fought yeah. Earl Spence. Yeah. Who do you see coming out victorious in this fight? I, I With the thing that I'm saying right now at this very point is, who is this fight on time for? Mm. Is it is it on time for Manny because of everything that, that Earl has been through recently? Or is this on time for Earl because, you know, you nobody still hasn't forgotten what, what Earl's been through, but also... Arrow's still young. Arrow, if anything, his body's going to repair itself and and heal a lot better than that 42-year-old Manny Pacquiao, you know? So I'm really just trying to figure out who is this fight on time for, you know? so He's shaking his head. Time. What you shaking your head for, man? I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I really like, feel like, you know? He gave us, the, he gave us like, the, the, okay, the traditional answer. Okay, yeah, good I child, yeah. I, I know, I, it's kind of, I see what you're trying to kind of, like, lean on and say. Yeah, but again, yeah. I think... What I'm, you, leaning, I'm leaning on I'm not picking a winner yet. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Really, exactly. You, gonna give us the, you gave yeah, us a lot of fluff. Yeah. What you thinking? Yeah. What you thinking? I think Arrow gonna close his shit up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, that's a hey, that's a valid. Because he looked good. Opinion, he but... looked good against Danny Garcia, and he said he was like seventy percent. He didn't look. Yeah. He didn't look like he came out of a car. He, uh, the only thing about it is maybe like his speech just a little bit. But like as far as fighting, I was like, he looked like Arrow Spence to me. Timing was a little bit yeah. off. It was just a little bit, just a damn. Was what was that? I said his timing was a little bit off because he was, you know, it some was things were a just a little bit, bit off. The mechanics, yeah. the mechanics, yeah. Even at that point, you blame it on you know him being out of the ring for true, a year. True, you know, and then look, at, look, but look at Manny you know, Pacquiao though. He's been yeah. out of the ring since 2019. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so yeah, it's this is gonna be a big one, man. I'm 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 happy for Arrow to get this fight mm-hmm. because for some time people have been talking Arrow Spence Jr. your Dennis Ugas, and it's like yeah. he's been trying to unify or uh, become undisputed in the weight class on and so forth. So 
You know, I, I said this on my podcast, the Point Away podcast. It, 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 we yeah, drop an up. episode every Tuesday. <laughs> plug, your, plug your shit, Sean. Plug your yeah. shit, Sean. Because you hardly had even introduced me. I, hey, well, hold on. We you can't hardly really introduce you. Give me his intro now. Give me his intro now. Hold on, hold on. Wait, I, did, yeah. I was like, yo, ladies and weight cutters and babies, this is Sean Port. I gave you a record, but then y'all stop. You, I got cut off, but I'm going to give you a proper intro. Listen, this is Sean Porter, man. The two-time former world champion. Okay, 31 wins. Three losses, knocked out all your favorite fighters. He has a podcast called The Porter Way. Man, showtime, Sean Porter, everyone. Hey, hey. Well, who are you looking at over there? I'm looking at the camera. That's my camera. Don't worry about it. Okay. Don't worry about it. Exactly. I said it's going to make sense. It's going to make sense later. Don't even worry about it, but I couldn't help it. I had to ask. I'm glad you asked after your intro. Yeah. Hey. Hey, hey, I love your podcast. Errol Spence mad at you because you because he said that uh because he said that you said Devin Devin, Devin uh, shit was fixed. Yeah, he yeah, was like, yeah, I, I, I and I cleared it up this week. But, apologize. Yeah, I, I, I did the best. I, at least I did the best I could to clear that up this week. To, uh, for anybody that that didn't see, first of uh, all, I'm the big podcast, fish in so. the 147 division. You don't sound like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So he don't sound like yeah. that. Hey, Sean. Yeah. No, he do. Sean, yeah. hey, <laughs> hey, Sean, let me ask you a Apologize question. Apologize to Devin the Dream Haney right now, Sean. <laughs> hey, Sean, hey, man, what's the funkiest fighter you ever fought? What you mean, fought like Yeah, Steve man, somebody told me he was going to ask me that. I, I damn near asked you. I had and to. And I bro. said, I said, do he mean funky like Stank? Bro, Stank, bro. He, stank, I know. Yeah. I, I said it for you. I know who look like. I'm like, that dude, Stank. I can tell Sean don't want to yeah. get on the inside. <laughs> y'all be, y'all be, like really go through y'all mind when y'all watching fights. Hell like, yeah, I know they stay. It's going through your mind, man. Before? Man, come on, man. You do, do it go through yours? Are you uh, so dialed in? You fought somebody that's real, like, as a, yeah, this Indian guy. A, I'm gonna keep it real. As a pro, I don't think I smelled anybody as a pro. Yeah, but I remember being an amateur. That's sure. And, and it was some stuff wasn't right as exactly. an amateur. Yep. And and that did like really kind of sit. <laughs> well, that didn't sit well with me. It was like yo that. I beat him and he stank. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let yeah. me get out of here. Strategy. Yeah, yeah, strategy. Yeah. I, hopefully, I'm going to cross my fingers, but yeah. I'm going to speak for all of us. Hopefully, we grown men <laughs> yeah. taking care of ours nowadays, and that's why I ain't smelled it. But, but you got to yeah, not. I, I ain't dealt with that since I was an amateur. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, I, I also, we'll yeah. get your thoughts on this. Uh, you know, listen, there's a lot of going on with the Ty, Tyson Fury and the Deontay yeah. Wilder. You know, he won his yeah. case, third yeah. fight. You know, who yeah. you got, man? Mm-hmm. Now, I, I, can't, I can't ask you who you got because, again, you'll give us the. You know. Listen, yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm tell you. So I did, a, I did an interview with Fox Sports yesterday, right? right? And they pissed me off. I didn't say that to them, but they made me mad because what they do? They were they were downing the sport of boxing because of this Floyd Mayweather and Logan Paul mm-hmm. thing. And I'm like, yo, they did what they did, but that don't have nothing to do with the great fights that's going on in the world of boxing. Nope. Yeah. And they got nothing with the great young talent that's in boxing. Yeah. Well, don't you think all these young guys are going to find out how much money they're making and they're going to try to do it too? Yeah. I said, no. Yeah. Like, we're we're young. Our, our minds are fixated on these belts. Mm-hmm. Our minds are fixated on beating the elite guys and being named the, the guy in the world of boxing. Mm-hmm. Those guys, the young guys don't care about what's going on in terms of how much money those YouTubers are making. Mm-hmm. That's not the real deal. And so they don't care, right? Mm-hmm. But they kept coming at me. They they came at me so hard. When I finished the interview, I told my wife, I said, listen, I got uh, I got this podcast to do tomorrow. Then I ain't doing no more interviews. <laughs> Straight like, up. Like, well, I appreciate I you. Handle, yeah. like, and then and then so everybody thinks that you know I'm right and or or at least are looking for me to be whatever. I'm like, yeah, I, I can't deal with that no more. So yeah. at the end of the interview, they said, Well, you know, um, I'm just not I'm not looking forward to whatever is next in, in the world of boxing if this continues. Well, Sean Porter, you have a good day. I said, hold on. Yeah. Like, I said, yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm su- yeah. yeah, I'm supposed to say, yeah, you too. I said, hold on. <laughs> I, can't, I can't. If I just say have a nice day, I'm yeah. co-signing what you exactly. just said. Exactly, exactly. I said, I said, hold on. We got some big fights coming up this yeah. year, All man. Time. Yeah. yeah. Great year for boxing. I said, we got Tyson Fury and, and, and Deontay Wilder and they trilogy. Yeah. We got Manny Pacquiao and Spence, Errol Smith Jr. Tank, later this Tank year. Davis. It's going to be a great year for boxing. All yeah. And now I said, y'all have a good day too. And I hung up like, like, baby, like y'all coming like, at me hard. That, like, hey, that wasn't nothing but the Lord taking over your body. They yeah. was like, you had to say something. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hey, you know. Uh-huh. But I do, I think that this trilogy, so I saw uh-huh. Tyson Fury a couple weeks ago and, and the dude, he just wanted like, he wanted the funniest, 
yeah. characters in boxing, but he's also like one of the most confident guys, right? So mm-hmm. I looked at him, I said, man, what I love about this fight, this third fight is we don't know what's going to happen at all. Yeah. And he says, no, sure you do. You know exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to walk across the ring and block, knock his block off again. I'm like, ooh, I'm like, I, love, I got to get, ooh, I got to talk like about that. that. Yeah. But the other side of me is like, D is not going to just walk away yeah. from that second fight. He won And it. let that be what everybody remembers. Mm-hmm. He's coming back to the ring and he going to throw them bombs exactly. the way we know to throw them. And so, I'm going to reach out to my dude and let him know, like, listen, don't go in there reckless. <laughs> yeah. Throw some bombs. Yeah. Strategically. Who yeah. has zero respect for you. Mm-hmm. And you got to get that respect back. In that first fight, yeah. uh, Weary, Fury had a lot of respect for Wilder, but he also boxed the way that he knew the box to win. Mm-hmm. And he left his chin out a, l- a couple of times, got knocked down, and walked away with the draw. He said, yo, I'm not taking the draw in the second fight, you know? So this third fight, man, I just... I, I think you, it's gonna be electric. What you think? You think uh, Malik Scott training is going is gonna have like some like like some impact on how D come in, like like how D come in? I'm a I'm a keep it real because I'm a because I'm a keep it real kind of dude. I love that. I don't know I don't know Malik Scott's background. I do know. No no no. Listen, because there's a lot of fighters that eventually become trainers. Okay, yeah. Not, not every fighter can train and not every train trainer can fight. Correct. My dad is one of those guys that can train, mm-hmm. but he he was an okay boxer. He wasn't a professional, mm-hmm. but he was an okay amateur. But my dad is a coach. My dad has a coaching mentality mm-hmm. and a coaching heart. My dad even went at the end of when he was boxing, he was coaching even when he was boxing because he has a coaching mind, you know? So, and then you have fighters that are like, the only thing I can do is this. Let me try coaching. Yeah. And sometimes it, it, it carries over and those guys become great coaches. Uh Freddie Roach is yeah, a guy. That, a great, yeah, great uh, coach. Freddie was a was a was a yeah, like seven losses. More than that. Yeah, he, he was like a B okay, nice yeah. to a C fighter, mm-hmm. but he's an A plus trainer mm-hmm. to, to this point. You know what I mean? So Sean, would you I like no? I, I don't know if Malik Scott can train guys. I don't know if he, if this is just something that that D is like. All right, you you my dude. We've been in the ring. Let's let's let you gonna take me back to the top. So you know I don't. I can't. Would you let somebody you knocked out train you? Huh? Would you let somebody you knocked out in the first round train you? Uh, and, uh he said in, in the, the first, first round. round. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, man, that was a descriptive <laughs> question. <laughs> hey, in the first round, like, hey, you know what? <laughs> I'll show you how. Like, looking back on everybody that I knocked out in the yeah. first round, yeah, no, no, <laughs> everyone. But it's been some guys. Go get that dude from Tijuana. He knows what he's doing. With the family waiting. That I'm like, yeah, that that guy could be a decent trainer. Yeah. All right, bet. Well, listen, before we wrap it up, man, listen, I know you're from Ohio. This guy has a credible suit game. I call him the Steve Harvey of boxing. Like, dude, I'm has, he has, I'm bro, he has like all, because, you know, Steve, Steve Harvey is from, uh, where is he from? He's from, oh, he's from yeah, Alabama. Cleveland. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, exactly. I had, my, I had my first amateur fight in the high school that he graduated at. Oh, what? what? Yeah, was yeah, was he yeah. the ring announcer? Yeah. Coming that's to the people, ring. Yeah. That's how he posted. <laughs> that's how he posted. No, nah, but back then he was still doing his comedy and cussing and all that. You know? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And he started yeah. going to church yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and giving awful relationship advice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro. Well, listen, I appreciate you, man. That's who it. you fighting right, next? I got a couple questions for y'all. Are you uh, so? I know you do co- comedy. Do both of y'all do comedy? Yeah, yeah I'm an you. actor, stand-up comedian. I just be in the gym now, a lot. Now, don't front. Like I said, you look familiar. Don't <laughs> front. Like, he said, hey, hey, he started hey, listening hey, to listen, crazy stuff. Hey, now tell me if I'm wrong, but the worst thing you can do to yeah. a, to a aspiring actor comedian yeah. or aspiring. someone who... No, <laughs> so, no. listen, 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 listen. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up though. Right. Or somebody that's in the industry, yeah. the worst thing you can do is mistake them for somebody else. Of course. Or say that they that they was in the movie and they ain't made it that far yet. That's the worst thing you can do. But you, they, it happens more than often. It's who you, do you like, think you'll be I am, Sean? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> who, do you, who do you think? Who do you, where do you think you know? You've you know? you been in some movies, right? Yeah. Tell me what movies you've been in, because I ain't about to, I ain't about to, oh, I ain't about to do this. Yeah, but do you watch HBO a lot? Uh, no, my dad uh, just was telling me about a show on HBO. Oh, okay. Do you like, do you like, I, was in? In, I was in that movie with uh, Key and Peele in it, uh, that cat movie. 
called yeah, Kiana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was. Were you, just, and, and were you in something young when you were younger? Were you in the Fat Owl movie? The Fat Owl movie. Fat yeah, Owl? you look like dude from Fat Owl. So nah. I didn't want to do it, but you kept you kept playing all coy. So I, 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 I can see that you do look like a fat. Owl. I went for it. So now nah, like I didn't Fat Owl. Fat Owl. Fat Owl. <laughs> Yeah, mush mouth, man. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Oh, also, hold on, man. What you hey, I know you and Terrence Crawford been going a lot, going back and forth on, you know, I mean, social media. What man, tell that boy to stop playing. You gonna put tell that, you gonna put, put, put the, you gonna put the pause on him, right? Cause I mean I like I text my dude today, man. Okay. At this point, I'm just checking in, man. I'm just Ooh. saying want to see how you doing at this point. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh, at one point in time. Uh, the long story short, we we can't we we were playing ball actually playing basketball. Okay, we finished up. Uh, I say yo, so how much longer you stand at one forty? So I'm I'm trying to come up now. I was mm. like, damn, like who you who you going who you trying to fight first? He said, man, the same person you trying to fight. At that point in time, I was trying to make a fight with Danny Garcia. That ended up happening. Mm. And um, at that point in time, when, when we finished playing ball, we walked out to our cars or whatever. I said, listen. Let's do this. I said, because I never saw myself fighting you, but now you're in the division. So mm. I don't think I, I don't think we're going to fight. But I said, but if we fight, let's make it be because we want to fight. Let's not make it because our promoters told us we had to fight or management told us we had to fight. And I'm going to raise my hand that I made a mistake. Or I, I said, don't let don't let anybody make us fight. Let's do it because we have a conversation. We feel like it's what we want to do. And, you know, after my fight with Earl Spence Jr., um, people saying this and that, they rather see the Terrence Crawford fight, blah, blah, blah. I kind of ran with that and some stories. And I feel like, you know, my dude feel like I kind of betrayed, betrayed him in, in that, in that, 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 uh, agreement that we had made some years ago. So at this point, man, I'm just reaching out to my dude to say, what's up, you know what yeah. I mean? I'm, and, yeah. and really kind of clear that air, you know, yeah. but at this point, yeah, I would love to have the fight with, with, uh, Terrence Crawford. Uh, at one point in time we spoke and I said, yo, I'm ready to do it if you are. He said, no, nah, man, I'm working on some other things, man, some big things I got going on. And and um, I'm, I said, all right, I respect it. You know, maybe maybe it'll, it'll happen, you know. So I tried to um, try to revisit that, but I came at it the wrong way. The wrong know? way. So, Dan, so if you don't win about it, like, you know, like through him, yeah, we'll have this yeah. fight, basically. Yeah, yeah. But now, Damn, son. But now I'm over here yeah, thinking. Yeah, 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 but, <laughs> I, I, I now I'm over here thinking, all right, you already fought Spencer, you already you fought, fought Ugas, you yeah. fought Ugas, you actually have to fight him next, right? Because yeah. who else would you fight? Sean Perilli or Rima? That's what I fight. I don't, I, and my dad knows this, which is why y'all haven't seen. Would you fight Virgil fame. Ortiz? No, mm. no. You, wouldn't, you wouldn't fight the, the young, the young female. No. Uh -uh. Two, okay, okay. I ain't fight none of them youngins. <laughs> <laughs> hey, youngin, hey, is he the next yeah. like? The, the king of that what that division him and him and uh, Boots Ennis did Bo they need the fight? No one's I, giving Boots his credit though. I don't like that. Though. I, I I think the Boots is dope, but but everybody Philly. everybody is like everybody is like Boots should fight uh Boots should fight uh Errol Spence. He's fight he he should fight Virgil Ortiz then fight Ugas. Yeah, you know. But but again, neither one of them have a belt though. So again, both I, of them need to. I'm because both of y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Correct. Both of them need to fight guys. <laughs> correct. <laughs> facts. Facts. Go both, ahead. both of them need to fight guys that have been to the top but aren't at the top. So you can't get in the ring with Errol Spence Jr. You can't get in the ring with Sean Porter, Keith Thurman, uh, even Danny Garcia. You might maybe Ugas because what happens when you fight us is you it, if you don't beat us. Everyone that you establish that you're not at that level. If you fight guys yeah. that have been at that level, yeah. but you and and beat them, now you're establishing that I'm getting to that level. Yeah, you can't you can't be at fight at that level, take a loss, and then nobody's gonna give you that shot again. They're gonna say, no, you ain't up there with them. You know, so mm -hmm. I would say I would encourage those guys to fight the guys that have been at the top yeah. but aren't currently there at number one, two, or three. Mm -hmm. And and establish that hey, I can get down with the guys at the top, you know. Mm, yeah. Do that first, and well, then well, and then well, take on the, the heavy heat. What about the uh, what about the W uh, the WBA uh, Ch uh, Jamal Jamal James? Like you think they should fight him, and then so, exactly. So like a guy like that, a guy who who has a name, um, he's so a tall, guy who. Man. He's so yeah, tall, yeah, cats. Is he lit? Yeah. Damn, is he, he tall, lit? bro? And he know how to box to keep you at bay. Might not have yeah. his power is like you know decent or all right iffy, but yeah. he's that's a dangerous fight for both of those guys. I think personally, on the surface, you know what I mean. But 
like I, like I, I tell everybody, because everybody, I'm 5'7", and I'm fighting guys that are 5'9", 5'10", five, five, give or take. Yeah. In the amateurs, I fought guys that were 6'1", six 6'. Foot six yeah. foot. But you, in the, in, the, in the amateurs, you fought Danny Jacobs. You was like 165. Those guys well, are Those bigger. guys, yeah. yeah. So okay. it's really... Sometimes, so so I'm not gonna fake the funk. Like size is not a is not a factor. Yeah. The fight the other night, like everybody's saying, your Floyd should have did this, did that. The fact of the matter is that dude is just really a big dude. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Thirty four pounds. You gotta, you gotta figure it out, and you yep. gotta break this dude down. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. A wolf can beat a bear, but a wolf has to be very tactical at beating a bear. Off top. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. kind of just to kind of give you that analogy, but so. What I always tell people is it's all about the attributes that you bring to the ring. Mm-hmm. If you're a short guy, but you quick, you fast, you strong, you smart, mm-hmm. you you got fast reflexes, you intuitive in the ring, you can see what's coming and great defensive minded and all that kind of stuff. You can you can beat anybody. You can beat a six foot five guy. You can beat a six foot two I'll guy that's got long arms. Yeah. You know, I'll tell uh, you, I, I agree. Damn. Yeah, we don't know shit. What we talking about? Yeah, Man, so, I feel so dumb. I watch a lot of comedy. Okay, go I got ahead. your number now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come to the show, man. You already know what it is, Sean. my guy. Yeah. So I'm about I wore to... this shirt. Hey, look, I wore this shirt for you, man. Look at this. Oh, that's what's up. You got damn. I'm, I'm just saying all that to Give say me. I'm gonna check all out on YouTube. Oh yeah, yeah all time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, listen, yeah. tell them where they can find you at, man. The, yeah, oh, man. The Port Away, Port Away podcast. Podcast. We're we're on uh, all of the uh, podcasting platforms, mm. and I, I encourage everybody to watch it on YouTube. You see the suits on YouTube. And, then, uh, <laughs> yeah. and my man, real time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I, listen. Showtime trust me. Sean P is my uh, social media on Twitter, Instagram. We also have the, the Port Away podcast on Twitter and social and uh, Instagram and all that kind of stuff, too. I'm also doing work for Fox. I'm doing yep. work for NBC. Yep. And I'm um, looking to get on some other platforms, doing some commentary as well. So. Hell yeah. My, my, you should get in the comedy, too. All the, uh, like, yeah, which is actually well. get into comedy. Yeah, like like while we like while comics is over there doing boxing, y'all yeah, start coming a, over here and being I, funny. Also, yo, you like one of the best PBC analysis. Like, yo, you you fucking you get you break down the game and you know how to articulate. Like, a lot of boxers, yeah. they they have like, oh man, I don't know what it, you know. When you interview them, you be like, man, I don't shit. You know, I'm like, damn, I'm talking to like a young person on lean. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. But you know how to articulate. Go ahead. I, I really do. Like, I've and I've had to really analyze this. I really think the biggest difference between myself and some other guys out there, yeah, and some other guys who have done it in the past, yeah. The, 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 that was those guys like plan B. Like this is something that I've always wanted to do. Yeah. And so I've always listened to commentary. I've always paid attention to who was saying what and all that kind of stuff. And I really do. I think that my style, I kind of have a more of an NFL type of style. Mm-hmm. And I kind of, I've tried to bring that to, to boxing, but the biggest, the biggest difference there is like, this is something that I always wanted to do. And, okay. I, and, and I really do love it. Other everybody else is kind of like okay, I'm gonna do that because I know boxing and and TV's giving me a chance, so I'm just gonna do that and they jump into it mm-hmm. thinking that it's gonna be easy. I mean, like it's homework you got to do, production meetings you got to attend, and all that kind of stuff. And and I, the fact of the matter is, I love all that. So it's like I'm ahead of the game because I've already wanted to do it. Mm-hmm. A lot of guys are like kind of bringing it bringing up the rear is because they feel like they had to do it or right. it was nothing else or it was like. Okay, now I'll do it because I'm done boxing. For me, it was like this is something I've always wanted to do, so I'm loving it. All time, yeah, I'm mean, shit. Yes, I love, hey, bro, I love with all the work. Big fan, man. Yeah. Hey, make up with Terrence Crawford so we can see that fight. Yeah, yeah, God yeah, damn. yeah. Stop holding yeah. us hostage, man. Come on, now we need another <laughs> class next. I think it's next as well. I think it's next. Tell yeah. Terrence to stop playing. I, I, hey, hey, I call him too, bro. Like, hey, man, my man want to got his fight. We want yeah. it. Come on, bro. Relax. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, we, we had really Jamar. We had Jamar walk off with his shirt off. You know, what I, mean? <laughs> I know he. We probably thought he was Terrence Crawford for a little bit. You nah, thought, nah, nah, uh, nah. He was like, nah. oh, like that's why I said, nah, him man, that's that dude from Fat Albert. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, when we first came out, I was like, nah, it ain't that him. You wanted to say that. Like, like, oh, he let took his go. beanie off his mouth. <laughs> like, hey, that dude. Yeah, come <laughs> that dude. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Hey, well, I can't thank you enough. I appreciate you, Sean, man. Thank yeah, you so yeah, much for your time, man. Bro, I appreciate yes, you, sir. man. Hey, good luck in camp, champ. 
Hey. I'm, I'm here, man, anytime. All hey, right, Sean. Man. Hey, Sean. Don't tell me you didn't like what you loved. Or don't tell me you like what you, you didn't like what you saw. All right? Yeah. And there's plenty more where that came that's from. The that's away. the end of his port. That's the port away. away. God damn. I'm you say I'm a fan. Yeah, exactly. Outro, ASAP. I'm yeah. changing the outro <laughs> ASAP. <beast. laughs> you click, yeah. That's clickbait right there. That's what we need. Hey, hey y'all ever, I would say this, y'all ever like look at pictures when y'all like 10 or 13 and you like, yo, why was I dressing like that? Yeah. Why was I? Why was I doing that? And then when you think back, you was like, man, like I really thought I was fly. Like I really thought I was fly. And you look at yourself now, Lynn, this is how I think. I look yeah. at myself now like I'm fly. Yeah. And I'm like, I feel like in 10 years, I'm gonna be looking at myself like, hey, what the hell was you thinking, now, man? Hey, like, hey, you was fly. I tell you one point where you had to look back, you was like, what was I thinking? You had the hair cross on your goddamn. <laughs> Uh, I knew I was like, I what the hell are you doing? Yeah. Sean, what the hell? Hey, it was lined up. It was too. lined up. He had the whole cross yeah. right here. I'm like, Sean, what the fuck? Sean <laughs> lost his damn mind. He done grew up. Hey, man, we make mistakes, damn it. <laughs> nah, Please bro. Hey, yo, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so All much, right, Sean. I right, have a Thank good you, one, bro. All right, Sean. All right, Yep.